I'm here on the side of Case Road where it happened. And right here, this is the memorial. This is where candles and bouquets of flowers have been placed to honor the life of the young man who was killed. For part of the day on Friday, FHP was here taking pictures of the road. They say a 15-year-old boy was hit while riding his bike just after 7.30 p.m. on Thursday night. Investigators believe the driver was in a white SUV and kept driving after the crash. People who live on this road tell me it's dangerous because drivers go too fast. People drive uh, down this road at sometimes 70 miles an hour, sometimes 100 miles an hour. And these people out here are running like if they're in a speedway. I don't understand that. It's 35 miles an hour. That was Fidel Sanchez and Faye Alvarez. They tell me this is not the first accident like this they've seen on this road either. Hit and runs have become a big issue in the state of Florida in recent years. In fact, Florida Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles recorded more than 104,000 hit and run crashes last year, and someone died in 266 of them. Often, they are caused by unsafe road conditions. They need to put some more lighting in here. It's dark pitch black. There is a church, there is a store, there is big businesses on 29, there should be a sidewalk. They tell me they would also like to see slow speed signs on this road to make it safer. This has to be stopped. Look at that, somebody died. A little boy, 15 year old teenager, with his whole life ahead of him, it's sad. While this case is still under investigation, FHP encourages you to reach out to them or Crime Stoppers if you have information that could help. In LaBelle, I'm Austin Shagorodsky, Fox 4 News.